was such a long walk home, I would have probably ran there. Um, this one I went with a purpose. I went with a, with a definite need, and the Lord hooked me up with a, with a prayer partner right over here that uh, was just spectacular. And the first, first time that he laid hands on me, the Lord did something. I felt something just, just go. And that set the tone for the whole weekend, and the Lord just really blessed me. When I go to the retreat or the men's encounter, I go for two reasons. One is to have a closer walk with God. The second one is to get to know my brothers here. Uh, one of the things I said to my wife when I came to this church was I wanted to fellowship with my brothers. And it didn't matter how old, how young, how different we are from different walks of life, I wanted to get to know them. And thankfully, every time I go to the encounter, I make, uh, I meet new brothers and I make new you know, family members and uh, we get closer and closer as we walk. Amen. This was my uh, first encounter, and uh, I was going to play some ball on hiking. So. Yeah. But I uh, got 20 minutes of that, and the rest was just worship and, and learning and letting go. And I let go of a lot. Brother Brian, he was my prayer partner, and I let it all go there. Amen. I'm new now, recharged, ready to go. All I can say is, wow. You should have been I'm just grateful to be here tonight. Um, a couple days ago, I had some surgery done, but before that, we made it to the encounter, and it was good to be with my brothers. We had a wonderful time. I was partnered up with Brother Marcos, who I made sure I wasn't going to call Brother Mario. I, I hear that's an inside joke, but God blessed us. I think we were ready to come home after the second day. Uh, him and I had just emptied our hearts out, and I want to encourage those of you that have been in the church a long time. Sometimes it's not just about us. It's about going up there and meeting up with some of these young guys and just pouring into them and then pouring back into you. It was awesome. The move of God was so spectacular. So I want to thank God for Pastor and his vision for encounters. I want to thank the women who came back and just totally recharged us, got us ready, got us waited. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Um, I thank God for the opportunity to go up to the encounter. I needed it. God knows I needed it. I've known God now for 32 years. And uh, Brother Ed Calderon gave a lesson up there about the axe head. And uh, I needed that. I needed a new beginning. And thank God I got it up there. Well, you know, I'm, I'm seasoned, you know. I. I kind of grew up a little bit in church. I sit on the platform right? and encounter. I, you know, I, I didn't really need it. Right. Or at least that's what I thought. Um, so I kind of, I, I kind of signed up knowing that uh, I had, I had my security blanket. I asked uh, Ronnie Petrie and and Danny Mungia to go with me, and those are my. I know these guys. I don't know any of these guys uh, really that much besides Sam and, and maybe a few others. Uh, but they were my security blanket. And man, if they're going, okay, I'll go. And last minute, some things came up and they didn't go, and, and I had my chance to back out and. You know, it, it, sometimes you just got to go on your own. Sometimes you just got to make up in your mind, no, I'm just going to do it. And th this is one of the things that you need to just make up in your mind that you're going to do, regardless of whether you're a seasoned saint, you sit on a platform, you wear a suit. Uh, I needed it. Brother Ed was my was my prayer partner, and I pulled up there, and it was out in the woods, in the wilderness. I messed up my wife's car going up there. It was just, it, it was just secluded. It was quiet. I, I, I opened the door to my car, and I'm like, this is a I've seen some scary movies that happen in places like this. We're all going to die. But uh, we didn't die. And uh, we made it out all right. But uh, I was blessed. Uh, when I say, I know I'm joking, but when I say I was blessed, um, you, you don't know. Uh, you don't know what Brother Ed helped me through. And uh, like I said, I'm seasoned. I've been in the church a long time. I thought I didn't even encounter. But uh, they dug deep, man. We dug deep. And uh, I got rid of some things. I'm fresh. I'm new. And uh, walking. So if you have a man, if you're a man, and you have a man in a men's encounter, let me encourage you. You know, it doesn't matter how long you've been in the church. Uh, you need to go to an encounter. Praise the Lord. And, uh, that's, a, that's a fact. I was uh, thinking about Sam. And uh, he made a comment that he didn't really know he was uh, ready for the encounter until after his wife signed him up. Some of you guys... Uh, you need wives like that that will sign you up for this encounter. Uh, there's a wrestling saying that says, cowards never try the weak die along the way. 
and only the strong survive. You got some strong men here. They're going to survive. And God wants that for the whole church. So don't, don't be afraid of what's going to happen up there because you're going to leave some things so that you don't need to be carrying around. And you're going to come back strong and be enabled to be used of God. So forget about all the rest of the stuff. And the next encounter, we should have 50 men there. 60 men there. Ready to become the strong in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's give these precious men